Good day, viewers. I'm Chris, Secure Future Vlog. Update my people. Barrister Ken Imasago, aka the Rice Man, is out to deliver Edo State governorship aspirant under the platform of Labour Party. Comes 2024. I will play a video for you to hear from the horse's mouth when he speaks on democracy and what you need to know about Barrister Ken Imasago. Ken Imasuagwan life lesson and lives with key vision and immense depth of intellect and sheer abstinence of being a lawyer, politician, and businessman. Ken Imasuagwan is an embodiment of humanity, rich in thoughts and material possessions. The founder of Pace Setters Group of School, among other business consigns. Is an extraordinary Nigeria who has been beating many odds, triumphant in magnanimity and humility. His life vicious episodes is a study in passion and perseverance. Little wonder he understood life freeze, dreams, and dreams. No doubt he is the people's choice. Let's hear from the horse's mouth when he speaks on democracy. I will come back to read his antecedent and pedigree for you to hear. Please stay tuned. Thank you, my viewers. You know, democracy must be defended. It is about democracy and those that want to kill democracy. Democracy is about ideas. Democracy is about staying in the game. Democracy is about fraternity with the people, felicity with the people. It is not about 0.0% of godfathers coming to say this is their choice. It doesn't work that way. I'm not going to submit my dream of 16 years of struggle just for the pressure of the Godfathers. It's not going to happen. I can tell you I remain in the race TVC. Thank you, my people. You have heard from the horse's mouth. I want to read for you about his antecedent and pedigree. In the last two decades, Barrister Kenneth Imaswagbon, a Nigeria educationist, lawyer, entrepreneur, philanthropist, and politician, has remained atrocitically consistent, stuntly focused, and consciously people friendly while ministering to the most basic needs of Edo people, regardless of his political setbacks at electionary. Early in 2007, Barrister Kenneth in Maswagbon stepped down from Mr. Adam Oshomole to fly the ticket of the Ashon Congress when both of them contested the governorship of the state because of a donut where Oshomole comes from, has never produced the governor of a state. states. That is the typical Ken in Maswagbon with a sense of justice and fairness, a man who abhors desperation in politics, ever release resistance, Ken Imashagman activated his quest to govern Edo State when he defeated General Charles Ahiaveri in Benin, speaking areas in the seven locations government areas of the state but the general managed to win the keenly contested primary election with the help of late chief tony aneni dan obi and a host of other political big wins the very recent of his political art of selflessness and magnanimity was demonstrated in 2020 where he willingly stood down his gubernatorial, gubernatorial ambition for Governor Godwin Obaseki to fly the People's Democratic Party ticket. When the Palijin Mr. Adam Oshomole of the All Progressive Congress, APC, as then national chairman of the party, pulled out the carpet from under the Governor Obaseki feet. It is only a personage of Barrister Kenneth in Masragmon, outstanding large heartedness that could subordinate his long term thoughts after ambition for another person 
considering the fact that himself is from a do centra that has not been given opportunity to produce the governor since 1999 at the debut of the president of the present fourth republic apart from being a household name in Edo State, Barrister Kenneth Imasagbon, biography, date of birth, age, early life, family, wife, education, political position, net worth, houses, are daily manual, rehearsed by the citizens of the state who are jointly for a renewed Edo State that works. Born May 4th, 1966, educated at the prestigious Obafemi Awolowo University, Ile Ife, with a degree in the law. Kenneth Imasagbo is one of the self made Nigeria politicians and a humanist, as well as thoroughbred advocate of equity and justice. As an equalist, Equalist Barrister Imasagbo is also the chairman of the Abuja Based Pace Setters Group of Schools and the principal partner of Imasagbo and Co., a legal firm he founded in the early 1980s. He worked as a technical assistant in training at the Federal Capital Development Authority, FCDA. His household name is popularly known as the Rice Man as a result of his annual sharing of rice. Over the years, he has repeatedly visited and still visiting the University of Benin Teaching Hospital, UBTH, with rice and some donations. The hospital management for the payment of hospital bills in Benin City. UBT, which writes and some donations, the hospital management for the payment of hospital bills of numerous patients who could not pay their medical bills annually. This humanitarian gesture has earned him a world name after his name, Kenneth Imaswagbom, world in UBT. Aside UBT celebratory contribution and human solidarity efforts, for the less privileged and the downtrodden, Irwa General Hospital has been benefiting and still benefiting immensely from barrister Imaswagbon on common and unyielding commitment for a those state that works. Often times he visited the hospital to share rice and make payment of medical bills to support family and patients that cannot upset their bees. And this has become a regular routine. Barrister Kenneth in Masagbo has been dumped sport grand patron in Nigeria for over a period of time. Kenneth in Masagbo, all secondary football competition is one of the football platforms where young and talented youth look forward to in Abuja for Onward football career in the international communities. The educationist has made the point time and again that investment in education is the best that has happened to humanity and Edo people. And that he would make education a priority once elected the governor of Edo State comes 2024. Powerful Edo citizens like Chief Gabriel Igbenedion, the late Prince Tony Mormon, and prominent Benin chiefs and professors were with him on several occasions, University of Benin, where he constantly gave out iPads to students in the presence of other dignitaries as witness. Recipients are usually thousands of students yearly for a period of 10 years in the States. At many occasions, the former Deputy Vice Chancellor of Benin City University, Prof. Akenswa, was also one of the special guests and some traditional rulers across the state who graced the occasions, like the Onoji of Ewohimi, the Oba of Ayegule, 
Akoko Edo of Ogara, Igara. As the move towards 2024, governorship election generates traction. Edo people are not looking far between because Barrister Kenneth Imashagbo, who fits the B, holds the A's. The people are eagerly waiting for his rainbow coalition mandate with Barrister Kenneth Imashagbo. It is a do citizen turn to enjoy good governance. It is the people's choice. He is the hope for the hopeless, the voice for the voiceless. Please share this video so that Facebook will recommend it. Thank you all.